Guys, remember the button that Goku won in the Zamazu saga to call Zenosama at the moment Goku wants? So Goku may be using this button to call Zeno to defeat Demigra, the greatest villain of Dragon Ball Z history! Let's talk about all that can happen in episode 50. So grab your bucket of popcorn and your soda and come with me. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Well, without further ado, let's get started. Well, guys, in our next episode of Super Dragon Ball Heroes, literally everything can happen. And I imagine some scenarios that could happen. And if by chance Goku made use of the button he received from Zeno during the saga of Zamazu to defeat Demigra, it would certainly be an interesting point. The meeting between Demigra and Zeno would be cool to see. Demigra is an extremely strong demon, and that gave work to all kinds of people. But this time, Demigra would have a greater challenge than facing Zeno-sama. Well, as you know, in the previous episode, not even the fusion of Goku and Vegeta was able to stop Demigra, and he wasn't even using his full power, which only demonstrates the size of this guy's power. So to try to put an end to Demigra, Goku has the idea of making a Genki Dama, but it would not be a common Genki Dama, but a Genki Dama that would carry the energy of all the universes present in Dragon Ball. And how would he do it? Well, while Goku tries to prepare to execute his Genki Dama, the other warriors, especially Bardock, Mirai Gohan, and Vegeta try to buy time against Demigra at their maximum powers. But it wouldn't be enough, so much so that only a single attack from Demigra, everyone would end up falling in defeat. But then an idea appears in Gohan's mind. He suggests to Vegeta that they do the fusion, but not only that, he also suggests that his grandfather Bardock does the fusion with Mirai Gohan, and then they would do something that no other merger has done in history. Merge with another merger. Fusions increase their power levels exponentially in an epic way, especially if these beings have a great bond. The battle begins and Demigra launches two gigantic balls covered in evil key towards the fusion, but they were no ordinary energies. They carried a large amount of evil energy that represented Demigra, which was the opposition of the normal key that was wielded by humans and other races. And an explosion happens. The fusion then launches a powerful punch to Demigra's chin, which would be followed by a kick to Demigra's stomach. And this ends up causing damage to the demon, who was starting to take the fight seriously. Demigra begins to raise his key more and more, thus increasing his power and heading towards the fusion, which was managing to defend themselves from Demigra's attacks with certain ease. Both shocked their blows more and more in an extremely fast way, the speed at which it was almost impossible to see the beams of light spreading through the environment while the other warriors witnessed the fight. Both raised their key with each strike they landed, and as a result, so many hits in a row and the enormous key they possessed, large dimensional gaps were opened on the battlefield. And with that, great rays were coming out of these gaps. Not only that, the amount of energy absorbed was so great that the dimensional gaps caused huge hurricanes, but that wouldn't disrupt the rhythm of the battle. With all of this going on, it gave the merger an advantage to keep beating Demigra, but he doesn't give up and starts to raise his energy even more, adjusting his energy again. And then Demigra starts to punch the fusion with several punches in a row. The fusion is badly beaten by Demigra, who ends up leaving the fusion very close to death. But this only caused Goku's Genki Dama to end. And in order to get the energy of other universes, the dimensional rifts were opening more and more in the space that everyone was in. And this ended up opening a big hole in the flow of separation. Space-time of the universes, which ends up leaving the universes close to each other. With such a calamity, obviously the gods of destruction and angels would not let this pass and immediately appeared on the battlefield. All universes made their presence, and when Goku sees that his plan indirectly had worked, he asked everyone for energy, the others, so that he can further strengthen his Genki Dama. And so it's done. The Genki Dama gets stronger and without wasting time, Goku immediately launches his Genki Dama towards Demigra, who receives it in full. But Demigra was smiling at this achievement. But something surprising happens. He ends up not suffering a measly damage. He was totally unscathed. In fact, he was more powerful. Demigra's plan was to absorb the Genki Dama, as he was already having problems with the fusion before. He wanted to increase his powers even more, and with that in mind, he thought of absorbing the Genki Dama. So he had let Goku finish it. And now all was lost. There was no one who could stop Demigra, not even a fusion made by two fusions or anything else. He simply had the energy of all the universes with him. Everyone had lost hope, even Goku was desperate, but he ended up remembering an important fact. He had received a device to call Zeno if he needed it. But Goku only wanted to use it when the situation needed Zeno's help. 
and so he decides to call him. Goku presses the button and instantly, little Zeno appears on the spot. Demigra had been perplexed because he didn't know that Goku had such an artifact. In Zeno's presence, there wasn't much he could do against the King of Everything, and that's precisely what ends up causing great indignation in Demigra. He raises his key wildly, and everything starts to shake and disintegrate. The environment was falling apart with the drastic increase of his energy, but then everyone realizes what he wanted to do. He wanted to destroy everything. If Zeno was there, even if he couldn't stop him, he could stop the others and kill them along with him. He would self-destruct, and consequently, he would take the entire universe with him. Knowing this, Goku warns Zeno, saying that the universe will be destroyed if Demigra continues to raise his key uncontrollably, and that it was for King Zeno-sama to do something. Zeno is confused and asks if that really was what Goku called him for, and Goku says it was precisely the reason. Zeno says he could do something, but only if Goku promised him something, that he could play with him after it was all over. Goku says that he accepted the condition, and that he could play with Zeno as much as he wanted, as long as he ended up with Demigra. And that Zeno does. He raises his hands, and they start to glow, not to cause damage to the environment. Zeno would only erase Demigra from existence. But Demigra was desperate. He didn't accept that he would die that way, without even managing to kill Goku and the others. He would destroy everything, even if the king of everything was there. He would take everything with him. But it's too late. Zeno raises his hands and closes them, symbolizing that he has erased Demigra from existence. Now there would be no way for him to go back without using the Super Dragon Balls. With that, Demigra was defeated and everything was calm again. But the dimensional rifts caused by Demigra and the merger were still in the environment. Not only that, the rift between the universes still remained in the space where they were. But then Goku ends up having an idea. He says that they could just use the Super Dragon Balls to fix all of this. If they can restore the universes, then they surely can adjust the universes to their respective space-times again. Well guys, that was the theory. What do you think? The concept of using two fusions and making them merge is very interesting, don't you think? But then, did you like this submission for Demigra? Could this happen in the next episode? Comment about it. Your opinion helps a lot. But that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, share this theory with your friends who are looking forward to episode 50 of Dragon Ball Heroes. The more people there are, the stronger our Genki Dama will be. Your support helps the channel a lot, and we continue to bring you different videos. See you in the next video, guys.